so prime the, uh, the plate, or the, um, what do you call it, the base, so to speak, the base plate, and some of the uh, modules and parts that are, that are going on. And the next thing is to uh, start painting with tan or sand. Just because I don't think I will be able to do that properly once it's all together. So I'm going to try to get that done before I assemble all the parts. Uh, because I don't think it's going to look very good if I paint everything. Because there are too many angles and tight spots. So, uh, well, painting the tan or the sand is probably important to do before. And then, of course bottom needs to be primed as well so that's where we are now uh, so a quick update on what, what's been going on here a um, bit of a industrial manufacturing uh, factory style <laughs> section of the build uh, these missile containers missile magazines uh, missile launcher what do you want to call the boxes um, Pretty good fit overall. I, I'm I'm not seeing any issues. There are a couple of gaps on one side, uh, on a few of them, but I'm starting to think that they're supposed to be there just to show that this is a hatch that getting to be open. It's uh, it's heavy. It's a thick. It's oh, good plastic. Um, very good. Uh, it goes together. Any mistakes on this is my doing. Uh, and I have to get back to one thing I said before. I said that the photo etch was thick. It isn't thick at all. It's very thin. Uh, what I mistook for a thick metal was the backing plastic, the, 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 the plastic that uh, covers and protects the photo etch. It's very thick. It's a bluish tint on the back side, the thick one, and a thinner on the translucent one on the, on the front side. And I have to say that this is... Well, again, I'm not a very good photo etch user. I've never liked them. Uh, well, I didn't like them in the beginning because I wasn't good at folding boxes and stuff. Um, nowadays, I can I can see the value. But what my biggest problem was I always bent them because you had to cut cut or cut off the pieces with the tweezers. Well, not the tweezers, the pliers or the tongs or the cutters, the side cutters, and uh, I didn't like that, but this is a super, super user-friendly thing. You just cut out the plastic, lift it, and you can peel them off one by one. So this is a very good thing, very good idea. I like that, and uh, kind of like to, you know, building with photo edge again. So as I said, they, they are very thin. So it's not that I thought, uh, it's not what I thought in the beginning, thick, it's, it's very thin, very, very thin and beautiful. So be careful with these because they bend easily. Uh, all of these are to be installed here, which is a shame. You, you're not going to see <laughs> any of it. <laughs> you're not going to see any of it whatsoever, but you know. It's a fun thing, fun detail. And it looks good in the build, so that's what I'm doing right now. Oh yeah, uh, I forgot. This part has been also. Um, this is the kind of a the cradle or the uh, the mount for the missile carrier magazine boxes pods. I I'm sorry, I don't know what it's, what it's called. And another piece. And here's a strange thing. I haven't assembled this because I needed to show it to you. Uh, this piece goes together pretty good. Pretty good. It goes together just as good as everything else. It's very good. Uh, but this really... <laughs> it's so strange. This is a piece with nice detail. Oh, I thought, cool. You can get to paint some dials and stuff and you know, some color. But according to the uh, instructions, it's supposed to be <laughs> placed like that. 
I guess it's true. I guess it's, you know, it's supposed to be a door that you open to see the detail, but so that you can cut us open if you want to and make it, uh, I don't know. This is really strange, and I don't know why they did that. It's, you know, it's not even needed. Well, to show the side detail, I guess it's needed, but <sighs> other than that, forget about it. But it does pose another problem, or not a problem, just a heads up. It's You need to paint this inside. Uh, before you can, you know, get going. So I need to look at what kind of colors uh, the dials and stuff are for uh, in, in real life. Uh, hopefully I can find some. It's a big kit. I'm enjoying it. Uh, takes a while. I'm, I'm, I think I'm about six, I think I'm seven hours into it. Uh, I'm not the fastest builder, uh, so uh, that might not be worth anything to say that, I, that it's I'm um, seven six seven hours into it but um it'll keep you busy for a while that's what I'm saying so it's a it's a good kit 